Hey everybody, it's Sherry at the Crafty Decorator. Happy Thrifty Thursday, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our quick little Thrifty Thursday video. Um, I am giving those candlesticks away. Don't forget to sprinkle if you like the video so I can pick a name. I have to rewatch to even see. I think I said tomorrow I am picking the name um, because Saturday was the wedding. I'm not sure. I got to double check. But I started working on the garland. I want to go over a little couple things with you about last night's video because I had some questions. Now, let me grab my things here. Okay. Remember I was telling you about the soft poly mesh. So this is different than the burlap mesh. Oh, it just got so breezy out here. Um, this is a little different. This looks more like all burlap. Um, it's only one kind of fabric. It's just the poly, I guess, is what it is. It's not burlap. Um, the burlap fabric mesh is more open weave. It's different. So I, I could only find the six yards, 10 inch, six yards at Hobby Lobby. And it was $9.99 on sale for $4.99. But a bunch of you have sent me links to find the 21 inch. That's what you're going to want to use. Remember I told you I sewed two pieces together to get it wider because when I show you the bottom, you see mostly garland. You don't see that burlap where I ran short, where I had to leave only like one part. I couldn't sew two together because I couldn't get them one row to be two even lengths long enough for my garland. So you want to be able to see your burlap through your garland. So you try, try to get a 20 inch, 21 inch. You guys can use that other burlap mesh garland. I just like this one better. It's more solid. It's not a see-through. Okay. So that's what I was talking about. You, I had to sew those two pieces together and you to get like my width, my 20 inches. So try to get like a 21 inch wide. And that bigger roll, I think, is 10 yards. So that would have been enough for me to do this whole door down lower. Because when I come back, I am adding another garland, I told you all. See, it only comes just above, like to the door handle, just above to the door handle. I want it to come down a little lower on each side. So I am gonna add another garland when I come back. And the garland does not give me a name. I got the garland at Hobby Lobby. It's regular $15.99 and it goes on sale for $8 when it's 50 off. Next week it should be 50 off because they skip a week. And this is the ribbon I used. This is in the floor. This is not sold where the fabric is. This is sold where all those big ribbons are in the floral department. It's just a floral mesh ribbon, I think it's called. Okay. So that is that. You lay down your, um, well, I want to say burlap, whatever you're using, the burlap mesh, this soft poly mesh, you lay that down. You lay your garland on top because you want it to be the same length. Then cut your mesh to be the same length. Now, once you have the under part, your mesh cut, then you are going to want to take, if you want to use a ribbon, to take your ribbon and loosely wrap it, not close to each other, but like space it, just wrap it around. You wanna kind of bunch your burlap mesh together. You don't want it like wide open while you're trying to do it, put, put your layers on. So wrap this loosely around. Now I wire the beginning and I wire at the end behind so it doesn't fall off and it stays on. Then you lay your garland on top of that. Then you take your lights and you wrap them around your garland. Now, I told you, I think I have too many lights. <laughs> so when I add another garland, it's going to be good. It's going to be good because I wrap them close and I usually don't wrap them that close, but, and these, the lights I used on her garland are these, those LED cherry, um, compact lights. These are the ones I showed you on my tree at home, guys, on the porch. Okay, so that is the garland. I wanted to try to explain it again because some of you had questions of what I used when I wrapped the ribbon around. So I wanted to tell you all that. Okay, 
Now, to hang the garland, I use little tiny nails, guys. I have three tiny nails going across the top. One on each corner and one in the middle. And I just hook the garland on there. If you can't use nails, I am not sure if, I guess you can try the outdoor command hooks. I would try those. If you have siding, I definitely think the command hooks would work. If you go a pasture would work and do the siding. Um, I use an outdoor command hook to hang my wreaths at home on my door and I've never had a problem with that. So just make sure you clean your surface like with alcohol before you put your command hooks on. Okay, so I have three little nails up there. Now, I'm going to move you up a little, I think, so you can see better. Let's see, because I started one side. I got to make sure I get you. I got to get you all on one step. And I know people were saying put the pumpkins on the steps. Well, their steps are not really that wide. So we didn't want to take away from the steps. But I want to show you. I started. See, I did one side. And I'm going to show you what I used for that. But see how I did flowers and I did a little pumpkin sprig and I did a flowers and another pumpkin. And then I found, now the light might be hanging in the way, but I found this cute little fall wooden, uh, it's all hooked together on a piece of uh, jute. But I thought, how cute would that be hanging in the middle? So I hung that in the middle of the door. Now I'm gonna show you what I use for the flowers and how I put them up. I wanna get you so where you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. I bought, these I'll come on a bunch, guys. This is a bunch of these flowers. So I got, let's see, two, three, six, eight. Eight come on the bunch. And what I do is just clip them off. Oh, shoot. I forgot my clippers, guys. I got to run in and get my clippers. Let me get my clippers. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot my clippers, guys. All right. Now, some of the flowers, I was able to push the leaf right up. This one isn't going to let me do that. So, I am going to clip it. Now, I bought these at Hobby Lobby. You can buy these at Walmart. You can buy these in the dollar store. You buy whatever flowers you like. I couldn't ask them to run me all over. Because really, I would have liked to come back <laughs> to Hobby Lobby today and got two fall bows to put on my corn stalks out front. Okay, I clipped that off. Now I'm going to pull this leaf off of here. Because I want a leaf underneath this flower. So see, then I'm just gonna slide this on so I have a leaf underneath. It's prettier that way, don't you think? Okay, then I bought a bush of this, this grass looking stuff. And I like this, cause see, I can push these up. See how you can push them up? So that is also what I'm using with my flowers on here. So let me show you. Okay, so, oh, I keep going out of the camera, but I am going to use this flower and this sprig and another one and do them in the corner. That's what I did on the other side. So I'm just going to show you, and I just stick these in there, guys. You just stick them in your burlap and they stay. So I am just going to stick these in here. You might want to do one at a time. It makes it a little easier. As I am trying to do this, I hope you can see me. This light is like kind of hanging low. All right. So I want these on the corner. Oh, I need to push this one up further. Okay. 
All right. I got to step back now and see if I have them like looking the same on both sides. Okay, good. That's cute, isn't it? I love the color. I love the orange. All right. Now, I bought these little pumpkin pricks at um, Hobby Lobby also. These were $3.99 and 40% off. All the fall is 40 off, guys. I didn't use a coupon. All their fall and their Christmas is 40 off. So then I am going to stick a pumpkin stem in here. And I try to keep them even going across. But there, I stuck my pumpkin stem in there. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing so good. I don't know if I should move you on this side. Let's see. I want you kind of close, and I don't want you <laughs> to, like, see my back. But see, I added the orange flowers on top, and then I did the little pumpkin uh, sprig. Now I am going to do another flower. Oh, I need to cut. I need to cut my grass off, guys. Now I'm, like, really in your face. Because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, it's just getting dark. The sun was just like really bright and now it's getting dark. Okay. So I am going to add this in here. You're just going to stick it in your rib, your, what do I want to call it? I keep calling it burlap. Ooh, I think it's going to rain guys. I need to get this done. Okay. But this garland, I leave up all year. And you're just going to pull your flowers out and change them for your season. Add whatever you want. doesn't have to be flowers. Like I had the butterflies on there and the bees for the summer. It could be whatever you guys want. You make it your own and you can buy your stuff wherever you want. I know some of you were saying you can't afford to run out and buy all the stuff. I, I bought this for them. They can't either. Um, and they don't have a lot because they're just starting out. But now she'll be able to have all of this for next year. So just buy something each year. Just a couple little flowers or something. And just keep adding to it every year. You don't need to buy everything at once, guys. I did because I wanted to show all of you a smaller porch. A lot of you have asked for, for me to show you how to decorate a smaller porch. So I did buy it all at once. Uh, normally I have stuff. Like I've had stuff for years. They don't have anything because they're just starting out. So, and I have the lights on. Do you see them? And I bought a uh, outdoor timer that I plugged in over there and uh, outdoor extension cord and the lights are plugged into that and we're going to set it dust till dawn so they'll turn off and on by themselves okay so there's that flower I think I can get rid of the ladder guys now so you're going to be able to see let me get rid of the ladder I got stuff all over I'm going to have to sweep the porch okay so now I need to add my last pumpkin in here. And I am just sticking it through the garland. I just stick it through there. There we go. I like the little leaves mixed in here. You don't even have to do flower grass. You could just do all leaves. It, you don't have to do anything. If you just start working on your collecting things uh, to make the garland itself, the mesh, the ribbon, the garlands, and the lights. And they don't have to be fancy lights. You can use the Walmart lights that you can get for, I think they're $2 a box for 100 You can use those, guys. You don't have to have fancy lights or anything. I just love these lights because I'm going to make them twinkle. But okay and then her grandma's wreath now when i stepped back and looked at it i needed to try to blend it in more with the uh garland 
So I added some flowers. I added two flowers and some of that grass and a piece of grass on the top. I don't, oh, and two little pumpkin stems. I had two extra pumpkin stems because I was just trying to incorporate it into the door. Because I think her grandma made this for her a few years ago. And some of the things were starting to fall off. So I fixed that. And I'm going to take you back a little bit. Don't mind the porch. Because, like, I have a mess here. Um, I really wish I bought two bushes of that this grass stuff. Because, oh my God. If I could have cut those off and stuck those around by the truck, it would look so cute. But I could not ask them to take me back to Hobby Lobby again. Okay, so I want to try to let you get a better picture of what... See, that light hangs kind of low. So you're not getting the whole... The whole picture of it. But I'm not sure if I step back farther. Ooh, I'm going to kill myself. I have stuff stacked on the steps. Ooh, I feel raindrops too. Okay. But I'm trying to fix you. You seem crooked. Okay. I need to fix my pumpkin sign because I moved that. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I want to kind of let you get see a whole picture of the porch. You can see me in the doorway here carrying you down. <laughs> but <clears throat> I am liking the garland. I just wish I had a third piece of garland and some more of that poly uh, mesh ribbon. So I could have came further down the door. I like it a little further down the door. But there you go, guys. I'm trying to let you get a view. I have the ladder in the way there. But, see, I wish I got two bows. I wish I got two bows to put on the corn stalks. But I ran out of time now. Now I can't go shopping anymore. I just had my husband run me to the mall for a wrap to put around my shoulders for my gown because it's supposed to be like 50s. My hair's a mess right now. Okay, <laughs> I want to try to bring you up a little closer so you can see how cute the lights are. I'm going to try to take some pictures tonight. Let's see. I want you to be able to see and see my little fall sign there. It's little wooden pumpkins with a bead and they're on a jute string. Let me see if I could set my, um, if we could get the twinkle. I think that's what I want. I think that's like number two, guys. I think that's number two. But here's like what it looks like up close. There's my little fall. And there's the flowers in the corner. And the little pumpkins. More flowers and pumpkins. And that's on both sides. So decorating a garland, guys, is not hard. It's not hard. I think the lights make a, make it. I love lights on it. Because at night it just is so pretty. So I'm going to try to show you tonight what it looks like. And I wish I had it longer. So next time I come back. Um, it definitely will be April. I'm hoping before that. But I'm not sure. Um, I am going to make this longer. Oh it's going to storm. <laughs> it's going to storm. It just got so black. Okay. I hope you all understand what I did. You lay down your mesh, you lay down your garland, you cut the mesh to the length of your garland, remove your mat or garland from the mesh, wrap your ribbon loosely around, not real close together, because you want to bunch that up a little bit. You want to bunch up your burlap or mesh, whatever you're going to use. And then you lay your garland back on top. Then you wrap your lights around. Um, try to hide some of the wire under your leaves of your garland. And I do have it hanging with three little nails. Like I said, if you can't use nails, I am not sure. Um, you can try the outdoor command hooks. 
They're supposed to be good for outside, so you can try that. I don't know anything else of a way to hang it. Um, but that is, I didn't even ask my son if I could put nails in his door. I just said I need some small nails. <laughs> and I put them up there. Ooh, but he didn't say anything. Okay, and I think their door is going to need to be repainted. Because it started, the paint's starting to chip. But they just moved in last year and they're still working on stuff. So, there's, do you hear the thunder? Okay, I'm going to let you all go. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on how to decorate your garland around your door. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks. Bye.